Ark Warlocks, you are so back. With this new perk and a helping hand from these artifact mods, you will be unstoppable. The best credit I can give this build is it was able to complete a full Legend Onslaught run multiple times and with random matchmates. And it also holds its own in Solo Vespers Host too. This all started with the weapon trait Jolting Feedback, an arc exclusive option which will jolt enemies for simply landing sustained fire. For the auto rifle I'm using here, Pyroelectric Propellant, it will take 15 shots, or 12 while amplified. At 600 RPM, this is very frequent jolt procs. These hits can be between targets too. If you did not have this, the Seasonal Pulse Vantage Point is a great alternative, but at a lower RPM of 390, it will be a bit slower to activate. My role also has Attrition Orbs as an option. Again, as it has a higher fire rate, this will activate much more quickly, which is great if you're using orbs for weapon surges or sustain with healing mods. But there are other great options here. My first choice would actually be Eddy Current. Since being amplified is pretty much a guarantee, it will maximise reload speed and grant additional handling, making this weapon feel amazing. There's also Strategist, which would fit into this arc build too, for even more rifts and arc buddies. Any of these perks are great to have though. Also those artifact mods I mentioned. I need to go through these before I get onto the build itself, as they are critical and honestly criminally underused from what I've seen so far this season. They both come in two parts, a base effect and an additional effect when using a boosting tonic. Conveniently enough, the refined tonic of Amplified Arc will boost both of these perks and this should be used when in more difficult content. The base effects of both of these are pretty good regardless though. The first is Trace Evidence which landing rapid precision hits on an arc debuff target or defeating multiple arc debuff targets will generate an ionic trace. The boosted effect is ionic traces collected will grant a stack of armor charge. This one is one of many ways to spam generate ionic traces. With jolting feedback providing an arc debuff, this will always be active. The rapid precision hit requirement is very low too, requiring just two shots. The second is retinal burn. Landing rapid precision hits consumes the armor charge to blind that target, with the boosted effect being, instead of just blinding one target, it will be a burst which will hit all nearby targets. The great thing here is, as well as being a strong crowd control option, this blinding counts as another arc debuff. So these two feed directly into each other, especially using them while boosted. The first creates armor charges, while the other uses them to blind. So to make the most of this newfound consistent uptime on Jolt, and something to utilise all of this Ionic Trace generation, I needed a synergistic subclass, which Arc Warlock was the go-to. Electrostatic Mind will pump up Ionic Trace generation to the max, and the exotic Geomag Stabilizers will convert these traces into super energy, and take Chaos Reach from being a kind of mediocre super, to one of the best damaging supers in the game, with a duration increase of up to 120%. So we'll start with the aspects, Electrostatic Mine does a lot. Any defeat under these criteria will always generate Ionic Trace. Any Arc Ability defeat, any enemies affected by Blind, or any enemies affected by Joel. This stacks with other Ionic Trace generation methods too. And it has no cooldown. So there's times where you'll see two or even three Ionic Traces coming from a single defeated enemy. Also, I kind of realise that I haven't really explained why these Traces are so good yet. Each one collected will grant a lot of ability energy, much better than other elemental pickups at these rates. Grenade and melee will both get 12.5% refunded, and class ability 15%. And as I've mentioned, these will be generated a lot. The additional effects they get with this build also are the following. One armor charge each if trace evidence is boosted, and 2% super energy each because of geomag stabilizers. Essentially, they allow for ability spam, and these spammed abilities go on to create even more traces, which you can just keep looping forever. The other aspect I chose is Arc Soul. Those who have used Getaway Artists on Prismatic recently will know how helpful these Arc Buddies can be. The best part here is enemies defeated by Arc Buddies will count as an Arc Ability kill, so that in turn means even more traces. And what's different about these Arc Buddies though is the fact that they can be shared with teammates, as long as they pass through the rifts you created which in group settings actually adds a considerable amount of total damage. And these arc buddies are further improved while amplified, changing from a 3 round burst fire to a 5 round burst fire. The super is of course Chaos Reach, with the exotic Geomax. 
The super will be available much more often because of its exotic secondary effect of allowing Ionic Tracers to generate super energy, and of course the super is much more potent. If held on a single target, Chaos Reach's duration will be 120% more than base, and because of this, its single target damage is actually quite impressive. But it can also be used to take down groups of enemies quickly in modes such as Onslaught, and due to its rapid charge rate, this can and should be used very frequently. On to Fragments, with a quick side note. Some of these are a little bit dated compared to what we have on Prismatic, and the fact that this class is limited to 4 Fragment slots regardless of aspect choices is not particularly great either. Hopefully Bungie do update this at some point. But regardless, there are 4 options which fit perfectly with this build, and here they are. Spark of Discharge. This generates Ionic Tracers upon defeating enemies with Arc Weapons, which is an absolute no-brainer, and the effect is potent too. An Ionic Tracer is generated every 3 red bar enemies, any 2 elites, and every single boss tier enemy. This also has no cooldown between activations. Spark of Shock. Arc Grenades will now jolt enemies, which will be helpful for effects such as Electrostatic Mind on all grenade defeats, as well as just adding extra potency to them. Spark of Magnitude. So Pulse Grenades are my grenade of choice, and the effect here is great. Increasing its duration from 6 pulses to 8, making each grenade's damage potential much more potent. And because of the Ionic Trace ability looping, these grenades are off cooldown incredibly quickly, so more damage is just always welcome. Spark of Resistance, a flat 25% damage resistance when surrounded by 3 or more enemies. This one actually does beat out a Prismatic Variant by 10%, which is a small win for Arc I suppose. But because the only survivability option is Rifts, having this damage resistance is a huge help. Also note that Spark of Ions does look like a really obvious choice, in creating an Ionic Trace on Jolted enemy defeats. But the problem is this one has a 10 second cooldown between activations, which is just a bit too long in my opinion when there's Ionic Trace generation options available with absolutely no cooldown at all. What about other weapon options though? I've been loving Prospective this season and have a video on its new damage output here. The best part is just how low effort it is. There's no bait and switch or envious stacks to worry about. You just shoot the grenade launcher into a big target and it goes boom. And it is arc, so we'll help with Ionic Trace generation too. Also don't reserve this one just for boss targets. Remember it does have chain reaction too, so using this on a group of adds is actually worth it. Especially so with its really high base ammo reserves. Bittersweet is another great option for Arc GLs too if you want a legendary choice. This one can be obtained from Onslaught. In the kinetic slot it's very adaptable but here's a few great choices. Liturgy can roll with Chill Clip for anti-champion capabilities and will work with Artifact Mod Concussive Reload to weaken boss targets. Lost Signal is great just about everywhere too this season as an alternative special ammo grenade launcher. You could also use a sniper such as Critical Anomaly or Supremacy as a backup boss DPS damage option too. Here's the armor mod setup I had for anyone curious. There's actually two methods to go with, the first being a bit more basic which is just stacking arc weapon surges, as the armor charges will come in fast with trace evidence. And you can make arc weapon defeats help out in this area too with harmonic cipher mods. Otherwise just match resist to the activity. An alternative is the ability to absolutely spam special ammo finishes. Run this in the class item and both charged up and stacks on stacks on the chest and leg armor respectively. Now each Ionic Trace will grant 2 armor charges and you can hold up to 4 charges. And then every finisher will spend 3 armor charges to create a special ammo brick. Just using your arc abilities and arc weapons will grant you 4 armor charges in a matter of seconds so you can just keep finishing enemies for unlimited special. I found this to be very helpful in the second encounter of Vesper's Host. So here's a clip of me taking down Atrax solo with Arc Warlock, which is one of the most difficult solo encounters now. If this is possible, anything is. Thank you for watching.